All right, welcome to J Sports, ladies and gentlemen. Just trying to get this started. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Press the post notification bell so you never miss another one of these Golden Knights videos. And also make sure you support us on PayPal. We are trying to do more for you. We're trying to uh, get some wireless microphones so that we can um, uh, we can be able to. Uh, do interviews out over there when we go to the nights. Uh, we're trying to, uh, you know, we're trying to, you know, in talk to people while we're there. Um, just, just different things. So be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe again. Press the post notification bell so you never miss another one of these videos or our notifications on our live streams or community posts. Ah, new music, right? Um, <laughs> um, and of course, uh, support us on PayPal so we can do a lot of cool things for you. So I wanted to do this quick video because uh, to, to give a progress report on the Golden Knights. That's why it's called a progress report. I, I, I'm giving the Knights a B, okay? Uh, right uh, ahead of time, ahead of everything that I'm going to say. I'm giving them a B and I'll explain why. Um, so where is the team at? Where is the team at after five wins? I would say the team is in a good spot. One, I think they're two up on LA. I think they're uh, one up on Seattle, maybe two up on Seattle. They're doing well. They weren't in second, third place for, actually they didn't even hit third place. They weren't in second place for too long. And I, I think they just needed that all-star break because they were in a really bad slump. And I mean, and I mean bad. Uh, they had poor puck management. They couldn't even handle the pucks. They couldn't control the pucks. They couldn't get out of their own, own uh, get a, get out of their own zone. They were constantly in the D zone. Um, they couldn't create traffic in front of the other goalies' nets. They couldn't, you know, um, the blue line just wasn't active. It wasn't activated at all. I mean, it it was activated, but just couldn't do anything. So, and, and people were not standing up, taking chances, taking shots. Because, I, I I mean, I don't know. Maybe they just weren't confident. And again, you could also say they had a lot of, a, a lot of minor league AHL players from our AHL team, the Henderson Silver Knights. So come this time, these last five games in a row, and even before that, the All-Star break. Listen, uh, we'll just, since the All-Star break, these last five games in a row, the first thing I notice is people are stepping up, and I'm happy about that. Um, you know, Marcia so finally broke that 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 drought. 14, 15 games, not scoring a goal. Um, Phil Kessel finally scored a goal or two on on last Sunday, uh, on the in the Super, Super Bowl day, uh, and he, you know, he finally scored his goals. Brett Howden, Shea Theodore, William Carrier, they're all stepping up. Which is a very good sign. Shea Theodore, he's done pretty well. Uh, you know, I'm happy with him, quite honestly. Uh, William Carrier has actually been on goal number 15. He's on goal number 15. He's a guy that's, he owns seven game tying goals. Or seven game winning goals. So he's he's honestly on his game. Which I think is a highly, highly appointed. Uh, highly, highly important. Um... I think other guys should step up. Should step up and speak. Chandler Stevenson and others should step up. Uh, Daniel Marimanov has gone back down to the AHL, but again, just um, I'm happy with the way that people have stepped up because Mark Stone's gone and he's the arguably the best uh, 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 forward that they have because they got rid of uh, um, Dadanov. Uh, Dadanov. Um, I don't remember his first name for some reason. It's it's escaping me. The goalies. The goalies are. The goalies are doing fairly well, pretty well. Um, I appreciate that Aiden Hill is proving to be good, and, and and honestly, Aiden Hill was on a team that really was in a rebuild after the 2018 playoffs, after the 2019 playoffs. He he wasn't on a team that was doing so hot or so well at all. So I could see why he's... Look, they're good at the 5-on-5, five five, they're top set, whatever. But he's finally on a team where he can do a, a lot better and their record's going to help his record. And he's done really well for the team. Uh, Laurent Brossois, I haven't really seen him play as much. I do love Laurent Brossois. 
He went down to the AHL with his injury, but this is a good time for him to step up. Obviously, you don't want him to, you know, step up because a player is injured. It's really un unfortunate that Logan Thompson's injured and Robin Leonard, but again, Leonard, eh, whatever. But uh, we do wish him well. Um, Laurent Brossois is getting his chance too, so who knows? But the goalies are stepping up. Um, the other thing I'll say, um, puck management's a lot better. The turnovers are killing the team, though. You got to be careful with that turnover. The the turnovers, the interceptions. Because those turnovers, that turnover by... Uh, I forget who tried to, the pass to Theodore. I think it was Smith to Theodore or Raw. Caught, oh, Nick Raw is also stepping up incredibly well. I love Nick Raw. Nick Raw is really... He hit that empty netter. Um, took a great shot to Vasilevsky. Shea Theodore got one through Vasilevsky in the last game. But uh, I, again, I'm just going to go back. Um, look, you know, it, all of this is, they, they just got to do what they, what they're doing. Um, raw again, doing well, all of these guys, um, taking good shots, all of that. And then of course we have the, the power plays, the power play. Listen, when you're going on the power play, I need you to set it up better. These, this team has to set it up a lot better do a different formation, get someone else by the puck, they have to do a lot better on on that power play and also fix their penalty. Usually well on the penalty kill, terrible on the power play. Um, I lost my train of thought on that spot. But um, let's see. The people stepping up, people getting their goals, puck management. Oh, the turnovers. I'm sorry. I'll go back to that. No, right? The turnovers, you have to stop. That pass from Theodore was no good, and that's how Mikhail Sergachev had scored that goal. Without that pass, not going to Theodore, with that, with that pass, possibly going to Theodore, without that not being a turnover, I guarantee you it would have been a 5-3 game. But it wasn't because that turnover. So you need to fix that. Puck management, I thought it was... I thought it's been pretty okay especially against a team like the lightning who've been to the playoffs in the last three years and you got andre vasilevsky one of the best goalies in the damn league period i don't care what anyone has to say he andre vasilevsky is one of the best nhl goalies in the damn league right now aside from philip grubauer aside from aside from uh jordan bennington i would say uh mark andre fleury is the best goalie in the nhl bite me i said it period he's still my favorite so but either way um, I would say the the other thing I would fix the last thing, get out of the get out of the zone, get get into the ozone, and also keep the game going hundred percent of the time. Maybe if we need to do a line change, Coach Cassidy, I don't know, Bruce Cassidy, Coach Bruce Cassidy, because that second period against the Ducks, again that's a different team, easier team to beat than the Lightning. They kind of stifled it in the second period. So game consistency. Better line switches. You know, there's some things they can work on. But right now, they're at a beat just because of that. So, yeah. There you go. That is my progress report for the Golden Knights. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. Tell me, you know, uh, you know, sorry. Tell me what you think. Let me know if you think I'm right, wrong. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Press the post notification bell so you never miss another one of these notifications or videos or live streams or community posts. And support us on PayPal so we can get those wireless mics in and do all of that. All right. See you next time. Peace.